Hi, and welcome to this episode of John's Model Kit Review. Today, we will be doing an in-box review of Wingsy Kits Mitsubishi A5M 2B Claude, and this is the late version. It's their 148 scale kit, and the part number is D5-01. And this is Wingsy Kit's first aircraft kit, and we'll be taking a look at the contents of the box and the instructions and the plastic parts. Uh, there are 89 plastic parts in this kit and 48 photo etch parts. There are four marking options for this kit, and they are all silver with red details. The kit comes in a top opening box and it's got the exterior top that comes off and then it's got a sturdy cardboard box inside that opens up as well. The contents are all very nicely bagged in individual resealable bags. Taking a look at the instructions, the first step deals with the firewall and machine guns. It has a photo etch panel or a plastic instrument panel uh, depending on what you want to do. It also has a seat and some photo etch seat belts. Steps three and four continue on with the interior, and there are some optional PE parts there as well if you want to go ahead and use those to really detail out the interior. Steps five and six also continue on with the interior and the sidewall painting. Uh, there are a lot of parts, small parts in this kit, but it should be a very detailed cockpit. Step seven is just joining the fuselage around the interior. And steps eight and nine deal with the engine and engine cowling. And this really should look nice once it's detailed out. Again, everything is very, very well detailed. Step 10 continues on with the engine cowling. And then we get into some of the smaller parts, the fuel tank and the wheels and bombs if you want to so option your kit. Next steps cover different landing gear options. And then we get into the wings and you need to be careful that you know which options you're going to use so you know which holes to drill out on the lower wing surface. Then construction continues in the assembly of the wings and the tail planes and the tail surfaces and ailerons to the fuselage. Step 18, it's more detailed parts, the final landing gear fitting, and then uh, just odds and ends that go on the plane. I would probably leave most of this off till after painting. And then finally, the final step is uh, the rest of the detail parts. The instructions are very clear. They're very comprehensive. I would just say that you need to be careful to make sure which plane you're modeling and what options that plane has. These are the color callouts and decal placement guides for the kit. Again, everything looks very comprehensive. Moving on to the plastic parts. One of the things that sets the Wingsy kit apart from other kits is the fine surface detail, and it's just beautiful. Everything is very crisply molded. The rivet detail is incredibly fine, and Overall, this kit should just be beautiful. The surface detail is world-class. Very, very nice. It's very surprising that this is a first effort from Wingsy. This is the detailing on the fuel tank that's underneath the fuselage. Moving on, this is Sprue A, and this has the fuselage halves and engine cowling. And we'll take a closer look at the fuselage halves and some of the detailing here. Again, it's just beautiful. Fine rivet detail. The shapes look very, very nice. And I have a feeling that the fit on this is going to be very precise. Moving on to sprue B, we have the lower wings, fuel tanks, and ailerons. And again, detailing is just outstanding. Very, very nice looking plastic parts here. Moving on to sprue C, we've got the upper wings and tail planes and some of the underwing bombs and again the detailing is top-notch everything looks very crisp moving on to sprue d we have the landing gear spats and the wheels and again some other detail parts and again everything looks great i, I really don't see any flash on the kit moving on to sprue e this 
deals mostly with the interior parts. You can see in the middle of the sprue there is the instrument panel done in plastic and that honestly looks very nice. This is a close-up on some sidewall detail and that should really look good under a coat of paint. Uh, very, very nicely done. Moving on to sprue F, we have the engine sprue here and there's lots of parts Engine parts look very nice, uh, very crisply molded, again no flash, and we'll look closer here at the engine, and it's just very well molded, very nice, it'll look great under a coat of paint. I really think the biggest challenge in this kit is going to be just cleaning up all of the sprue gates nicely. Here's a picture of the clear parts. I apologize that I don't have a more clear picture, but I tried multiple times and this is the best I could get. But the clear parts honestly look fantastic. Uh, nice framing. Here are the photo etch parts. And again, they, they do look very nice. I don't think you have to use all of these to get a very nice kit, but if you're comfortable with this medium and like detailing it, they should make it look really nice. And this, if you use the photo etch, instrument panel, these uh, go behind that and uh, it'll make it a very nice looking instrument panel. Here's a look at the decals and again everything looks crisp, everything looks in register, the colors look opaque. Uh, I, I don't know for sure, I haven't used them on the kit, but they look good. In conclusion, with crisp moldings incredibly fine surface detail, very precise parts fit, and just very smart engineering. I think this kit is going to be a masterpiece. With that said, it is not a kit for beginners. There are lots of very small parts. The A5M2 is a small aircraft to begin with, and quite frankly, for the size of the kit, it, it does have a lot of parts. It has higher parts count to it. But if you take your time and really go through, clean up the sprue gates and uh, just take your time test fitting everything, I think you're going to end up with a masterpiece on this kit. Very, very well done. The only things I would say could be improved. I like the way that Edouard does their color painted photo etch parts and that would dress up the interior. Uh, this has the photo etch parts, but they are all unpainted. I would definitely recommend this for modelers with some experience with handling small parts and photo etch parts. One thing I will say, this kit when it debuted was prohibitively expensive for myself. In fine scale modeler, I read the review and when I read the, the price of $80 MSRP, I thought that was a misprint. It very well may have been a misprint, but it was a very, very expensive kit. I recently purchased this model secondhand at a local hobby shop and got it for a significant discount over MSRP. I'd love to know what you guys think. If anyone out there has built this kit already and can chime in and let us know how that went, how the build went, please feel free to leave comments in the comments below. I hope you found this video entertaining and informative, and until next time, model on.